Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start up on this one right here. Find out which one's running. Gotta make sure the other one's running before I can shut this off. Because if I shut these pumps off, we'll have the entire chiller system down. Because we have no water for the condensers. So, that one is running. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this one off. I'll start off with the pump. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is uh, close this off. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Get some hoses. Go ahead and drain it. Inches. Got the big bad boy right here, made by Right Tools. Also made by Right Tools. Just make my life easier. Just a little trick. Uh, what I do is I I keep one of the bolts on so that I can just leave it and just swing it around like so. Let me get the other light. look here show you guys you see that that's dirty now that's bad let's bring it up to the light and we'll take a look at it now this is why you have to pull the trainer see that right there Go ahead and clean all that stuff out a little bit. Even my drain is clogged. But uh, I'll get all that stuff out of there. Just by hand, I'll just drop it on the floor and I'll clean up the floor later. Alright guys, let's take a look at the strainer. Okay. It's pretty clean, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and put our Strain her back in. Kind of want to get it straight, nice and straight. Oh, I'm not. No, no, I'm good. So I'm going to tighten up with these guys right here. This one was dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a peek at that. It's like driving a car. It's a Mustang, kid.
okay, just be careful doing this in uh, buildings where a drain is not close by. I am in the basement, and uh, it's okay, you know, it's, uh, some locations I have to put, uh, you know, pans and stuff. Over here, I don't have to do that. That's all that stuff that came out of the other pump. Disgusting. This is the same building that we're doing that uh, cooling tower job. The gearbox. Like I said, be careful. Some locations, you know, you need to catch the water. The drain may not be as close by. This is the basement, and uh, I apologize if I offend anybody by, uh, <laughs> you know, just letting it go on the floor. Not, it's not a hack job. It's just, you know, I'm in the basement. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean, Johnny? All right. So let me take this guy up. We'll take a sneak peek and see what the hell. See, this one is also dirty. I'm gonna pull it out, clean it, put it back in. It's not as bad as the other one. Just a little bit down here. And uh, like I said, in most cases, if one is clean, the other one is also clean because it is the same piping coming in. And uh, so I'm gonna pull this out and just clean it, put it back in. Back in. And uh, I'm gonna close it up. condenser water loop the chill water loop I'm not gonna even touch it it's closed loop it's never dirty and I'm gonna go ahead and open this but before I do that look at this Earl right here number two Earl hey Steve man come and get this Earl out of here <laughs> so I got my valve off hey that one's good I'll just valve this off in case that one's not holding and I got Condenser water return, condenser water coming in, they're both valved off, butterfly valves. Okay, so I got a drain right here. A little bit of drain.
Boy, vedi, vedi, happy, la la la, bola kush, bola kush, la 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 la. I'm just a busy boy, very, very lari. All right, guys, go get that one for me. Conduit here that I'm gonna use to pull out that last one. Okay, so I'm gonna get it off. So let me get the flashlight. go clean these and uh, after I don't have time today but when I come back tomorrow then what I usually do is uh, I just go to the control boxes I make sure all the wirings looks good nothing's burned you know make sure that all the faults clear the faults see why there was a fault and uh, most importantly, check all the electrical components for any french fries, fried wires. Want to clear that out of the way. A lot of these uh, overload uh, detectors, uh, they, they go contact. These are all, the, all of this is original stuff, guys. This chiller, I'll, look at this model number, actually. I mean, these are still made in the U.S. These guys, are, they have to be at least 15, 20 years old. Everything is original. It's those big red compressors in there. Train compressors, the big fat ones. So these are, everything's original. So basically, I'll go through everything, make sure nothing's fried, clean it up. If I need to replace parts, I'll replace parts. Actually, no, I'm lying. I have to write everything up because everything has to be approved. But I'm going to clean this guy up. Show it back in there, and uh, and that's it, guys. Just wanted to take you along with me, just show you around, and uh, that's about it. I'm gonna clean them, just reverse what I did. If I have time, I'll take you through the process. If not, then I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.